hello everyone welcome to my ANSYS tutorial YouTube channel today we are going to learn about cantilever beam the shear force and bending moment diagram of a cantilever beam this is a very simple problem as we are starting from basic so let me talk about cantilever beam first so you can see that two point load of 30 kN and 20 kN are applied on a cantilever beam and the length of the cantilever beam is 3 meter and the cross section of the cantilever beam is a rectangular cross section of having diameter 40 mm into 40 mm so let me open the ANSYS workbench software first okay I have already opened it on my PC you can see that there are tons of options here so as this is the beam problem we have to select the static structural option okay so just to double click on static structural option the option static static structure will come on this main window and you can see that there are several option under static structural so start from engineering data so let me talk about engineering data first what is engineering data first of all it is a software so you have to assign the beam is made up of what type of material what is the property of that particular material so let me open the engineering data first you can see that the first option already assigned here that is a structural steel and the option of this structural steel like density tensile strength compressive strength already assigned by the software if you want to change any one of these you can change or if you don't want to change just close this engineering data tab because it is already assigned structural steel or you can see that a tick mark come here that's when it is already selected structural steel so if you don't want to change the structural steel just don't open this it is because it is already assigned structural steel to this option then the main option come geometry just double click on geometry a new tab will open in front of you and we have to draw the beam in this geometry section so it will take some time depend on the configuration of your system let me show you the problem you can see that the geometry tab is opened in front of you so first see the problem first the total length of the beam is 3 meter right and at the distance of 1 meter from the fixed support 30 kN load is applied and at the distance of 3 meter from the fixed support 20 kN load is applied so we have to draw this beam into two section two segment first segment is of one meter and second segment is of two meter so that we can easily apply the load so just consider beam as a line first line is of one meter and second line is of two meter just to draw this line one meter and two meter on ANSYS software and then we'll assign a cross section on that particular line okay now this is a geometry tab you can see that and there there are three planes as we know that xy plane zx plane and yz plane suppose we are going to draw the whole beam on xy plane just select xy plane you can select any one of this but i am selecting xy plane now this is the 3d picture uh, obviously we will face a problem if we want to draw in this uh, 3d sections so just click off click on this option look at the face so this 3d is convert will be converted on 2d you can see that and in in our front you can there xy plane in front of you okay now select unit go to the unit and select meter it is already selected meter okay now see the problem this is a one meter and this is a two meter so we are going to we're going to draw the line first go to, go to the sketching and select the option line now from the center just draw two line here the h is coming that's mean the lines is horizontal right so first line we have draw we have drawn a first line and we have drawn the second line now go to the dimension and select on the first line and select on the second line 
you can you can change the dimension here you can see that the h1 and h2 two line generated so first line if is of one meter and second line is of just select two type two sub two meter just zoom it so the two line one meter and two meter already generated in the sketch now click on the option generate so this sketch is already generated now go to the concept and select line from sketch because beam is a line body beam is like a line but it is a body so just select this option line from sketch we have already drawn the sketch we will get a body from this sketch line from this sketch now here you can see that the software is asking for for which case it will make the line body so just click on applied right go to the xy plane and we have drawn already sketch one we have already drawn and just apply it and just click generate a line body is already generated you can see that line one it is a body line one so line one is a nothing but the line body of sketch one now go to the concept again and select the cross section and just tap on rectangular cross section you can see that a rectangle is already open and b and h is nothing but breadth and height of the cross section so for us the dimension is 40 mm by 40 mm so 0 0.04 meter and this is also 0 0.04 meter now go to the line go to the line body again and just select the cross section rectangular which we have already created and just click on generate so we have assigned the cross section on the line body just to view that just click on the view cross section solid tap on this cross section solid you will get that you will see that a beam is already generated a beam is already generated okay now from the geometry part it is already completed because we have drawn the beam just close it just close it and now we are redirected to the main page engineering data completed geometry completed now go to the model click double click on model and it will take some time to open just wait few seconds to open it it is completely depend upon the configuration of your system if it is good it will take minimum time and if it is somewhat older then it will take some time just wait few seconds it will open you can see that the model is already open in geometry section we have already drawn the beam now in model section the entire rest of the part will create as you know that this is a 3d software so we have already this is a line body a beam is already generated now up to this we have already generated the drawing has been done this is the one meter section and this is the two meter section you can see that so we have to put the load over here and over here this is the fixed support first load will be applied here and second load will be applied here right so go to the mess first and just click on generate okay you can see the solid okay now this is the beam in front of you now select static structural and just you can see that go to here fixed that's when fixed support we know that you can see the picture this is the fixed support so we have to assign this fixed support here so for that go to the fixed support and then and then just select this edge only this is and click apply it 
one vertex you can see that at the geometry one vertex is selected this edge is selected and this fixed support has been selected right and now then again click on static structural and just right click it and you can see that insert there are lots of options so we'll now apply force click on force you can see that first the software is asking for the geometry at which point the load will be applied this is the first segment this is the second segment so first load will be applied here just select this and click apply this was vertex selected and the load is defined by the component so you can see that we have drawn the beam on xy plane so the load will be selected at negative y directions right so how much load will be applied here 30 kN load will be applied here so just select minus 30,000 newton that's mean 30 kN right and then again go to the static structural option right click insert and force okay the software is asking for geometry at which point the load will be applied just select this point and click apply and the load is nothing but here the component and y component and here the 20 kilonewton that's mean 20,000 newton load will be applied right okay now we have seen under static structural fixed support and force 1 and force 2 both are assigned right now go to the solution just click on solutions right click and then you will get option of insert and go to the beam result right and we'll get shear force we'll select shear force and bending moment diagram shear moment diagram just select these things right now it is asking for path and geometry two things what is path this is a beam right so we have to select a path from which point to which point which point to which point the shear force and bending moment diagram is going to be drawn that path we have to select for that nothing go to the model and just right click just insert and you can see here constant geometry and path okay so what where the path option is come just right click on model and then insert then construct sign geometry and then path just click on path you can see here it is came right here it is already selected two point just selected edge right this one and just control click control and select also this one and apply it so you can see that from one point to from two point the path is selected now go to the CR force and bending moment and here the path click on path we have already selected the path so click it okay everything is selected now the click on the solve button click on the solve button and the problem is solving you can see the progress here and it will take a time the result will be shown in front of you just wait few minutes and again it is depend on the configuration of your system it will take time so we'll get total shear force and bending moment diagram from this result we have assigned already two force and the fixed support and then the path the result will come in front of you and you can see this is the result this is the shear force diagram and this is the bending moment diagram and this is the deflection diagram you can see that this is the free end and this is the fixed end as you know that the total shear force maximum at a fixed end and bending moment is also maximum at fixed end and deflection is maximum at the tip of the beam so this is the result and you can see the progress at zero meter of the length the total shear force is five thousand newton that's mean 50 kilo newton and total bending moment is 90,000 newton meter right that is that's mean 90 kilo newton meter and displacement at the fixed at fixed end is zero right 
so in this way at each and every point you can see the total shear force and bending moment diagram and you can see also the geometry of the beam you can see it right if you want to watch the animation just click on it this you can see the bending of the beam here you can see right you can see the bending of the beam this is the fixed end this is the fixed end and this is the okay this is the free end and this is the fixed end right okay so today up to this if you found this video very helpful then please comment below goodbye see you later